Welcome back. I'm Jay Papasan. Now that you have the seller at least agreeing to review your staging recommendations, it's time to set expectations. To be smart sellers, your customers have to start thinking like buyers and see their home through their buyer's eyes. Because the minute they decide to sell, it's not their home any longer, it's someone else's. This is the time to be very diplomatic. Tact is required when making recommendations, as some sellers might think you are criticizing their taste or belongings. The first and probably most important truth to remember is this. Good staging does not equal good decorating or design. Staging is not about anyone's individual taste. It's about everyone's taste. Turning a seller's home into a depersonalized house that will appeal to the broadest market possible. To help your sellers gain this perspective, suggest they do the following. Go to open houses to see what their competition is. Visit model homes to learn how builders present fantasy lifestyles rather than everyday reality. Read decorating and home magazines to identify popular trends and even watch one of the many shows on cable television like HGTV's Design to Sell and Curb Appeal. And remember, your perspective is important too. If you're scared to make these recommendations, you'll cost your sellers money and make it harder for you to sell their home quickly. It can be a delicate dance and occasionally you'll step on their toes. Just apologize, explain your reasoning, and they'll understand. Let's see how Gary Gentry handles this situation when he steps on his client's toes over some of her favorite paintings. Justine, here in the living room, let's mm -hmm. talk about some of the things that we need to address to broaden the appeal. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I think we want to do is to take the mantle and clear it off, take the personal pictures off there so people won't be looking at those personal pictures. Okay, I hate to see my family pictures go. I know, I know. What will happen is they'll look at the pictures mm -hmm. and try to figure out who the family is and they'll stop looking at the house. Okay. The other thing that we want to do is those are beautiful, beautiful paintings. Um, I think to have a broader appeal to the general public, we, we probably need to take those down. Really? I'm, I just, I, I love those paintings. Those are a focal point to me in this room, and my mother did them. They're really important to me in an in a emotional way, too. I just don't see why we would remove those. I understand, and I apologize because I've stepped on your toes here. Well, I just... <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't mean to do that. Uh -huh. The thing that I'm always going to do, uh -huh. um, I'm going to be totally candid with you mm -hmm. as I'm reflecting what the average buyer is looking for. Mm -hmm. At the point you get ready to put a home on the market, at that point, it doesn't matter what I like, mm -hmm. what my tastes are, mm -hmm. and really it doesn't even matter what your tastes are or what you like. Sure. Because we're trying to broaden the appeal mm -hmm. so that uh, the vast majority of buyers mm -hmm. are going to find it emotionally appealing. It's going to be neutral. Uh -huh. And so one of the things, because of the high contrast on those mm -hmm. and because it rivets their attention to that mantle, I agree, yeah. um, it's, it, it, we probably need to find something that is a little bit more neutral there that we can put over the mantle. Okay. Also, because of the fact that we've got a lot of dark in here, we need to bring in some more light. Okay. So, um, I apologize. If I do it again, I'll, tr I'll be sensitive to it. <laughs> okay. But you can count on me. I'm always going to tell you the total truth because I think that's what you want of me, isn't I it? I do, and I'll try to be more thick-skinned. Well, just, it's okay. No, I don't. Are, I, really, mm -hmm. I really like those, so that was hard to hear. I don't blame you at all. I understand that. Notice that Gary didn't make it a big deal. He simply apologized and moved on. Let your clients know where you're coming from and they'll understand. Now once you've set expectations with your client and given them your recommendations, you have several options when it comes to actually doing the staging. Your three options are do it yourself, train your staff, or use a professional. Let's talk about the first option, do it yourself. You may have to start this way if you're a new or a solo agent. The pros of doing it this way are, you get to spend more time with your sellers, enabling you to build your relationship. There's no monetary expense. There's more control over the finished product. Some of the cons of this approach are, you may become the bad guy. It may cost you more in time, which you could have spent lead generating, than it would have to pay for a consultation. And you may not have the skills or resources to stage different types of homes. Your second option is to train your staff. Have them shadow you on both the listing presentation and the staging process. 
supply them with your checklist, and hold them accountable for results. The pros of doing it this way are, you can train them to meet your standards, you have control over the finished product, sellers appreciate specialized consultant, and finally, you don't have to be the one to deliver the bad news. Some of the cons to this approach are, depending on the role on your team, it may cost you more in their time than it would be to pay a consultant, and they may not have the skills or resources to stage different types of homes. Your third option is to use a professional. The pros of this approach are, professionals deliver top-notch quality. You don't have to be the one to deliver any bad news, and sellers will react more quickly to the professional. And finally, the professional has their own props and storage facility. Some of the cons to this approach are, you let go of some of your perceived value. Their fees can be expensive, and you have no direct control over the results. That concludes our discussion today. For more information and checklists that can help you actually walk through the home and declutter and depersonalize it so you can put it on the market, just visit kellerwilliamsuniversity.com. Our new KWU course titled An Agent's Guide to Seller Staging Strategies is now available. This course can provide you with detailed checklists and tips on what recommendations to make to your sellers and the best practices for staging rooms. A link to this course is also available next to this video on KW Connect. Lastly, on Camp 443 Power Session 12, we cover staging in detail. Thanks again for joining us today. We'll see you next time on KW Connect.